Now, when you look at black people, you look at the African-American people, what you will see are a people that of all the people on the planet have been the easiest people in time and antiquity to enslave. Nobody, no other people, while there have been enslavement, there have been nation capturing nations. When America came here and took this nation from the American Indians, the Navajo, the Arapaho, the Cherokee, the Blackfoot, all of that, America could not enslave the Indians. They wouldn't do it. They would not be slaves. They would not serve the, the, the purpose of slave, not even indentured servants. They wouldn't do it. The American Indians would not. It's been tried in France. It's been tried in India with the class systems. It's been tried with peoples all over. Russia has tried it. Nobody has made a good a slave as black people, the ones on the dark continent of Africa. Of course, they don't call it that anymore. Nobody has made, has been a good a slave as black people. Now, I'm not saying this because I dislike black people. I live in a black skin. I live under, well, I suppose culturally people will identify me as an African American and I live in a black skin. The name that I have, James Manning, comes from the Irish that lived in South Carolina from, that gave liberty to my father and my mother. But I live in a black skin. I'm not saying the things about black people because I would want to hurt or harm them or, or, or not identify with them. I'm saying it because it's historically true. Search the records. When the Jews went into uh, Egypt to be slaves, uh, the quarters, the living quarters, were not the same uh, as were in down in the quarters of the slaves here in America. There was no intermingling of the of Pharaoh and his army and his people with the Jewish people. The Jews remained pure-blooded Jews. There was no mixture. There was no miscegenation. And there was equity. They were more of servants indentured than they were slaves. And even the boy Moses was found by Pharaoh's daughter floating down the Nile River. She picked him up. Though he was the son of a slave, she picked him up and brought him to Pharaoh's court. And Pharaoh kept him and, was, and treated him like it was his own son. Nobody on the planet earth has ever been as willing a slave as the so-called black man, the so-called African-American man. Nobody. Nobody has ever been. And the reason why the black man has served as a good slave, as a good slave, has made a good slave, is because of his mentality. Now, my job is to wake him up. My job is to bring the stark truth that has, that has caused him to behave the way he behaves, live the way he lives, kill and cut and lie and cheat and be dependent and fail to recognize his rightful place before God, his opportunity and strength and responsibility. My job is to clean all that up, tear all that up, and make him a man, because he's not a man now. Jesse Jackson is not a man. Al Sharpton is not a man. Black leaders, T.D. Jakes, is not a man. Barack Hussein Obama is not a man. They're slaves. They still have the slave mentality. Louis Farrakhan is not a man. They're slaves. They're still slaves. They have not yet, if they were men, then black people would not be living, doing, killing, living at the bottom of the world's social register, have died out where there were 60, in 1965, there were 40 million blacks, Afro-Americans or Negroes in America. Now they're only 30 million. 10 million have died. 2 million are in prison because black people have not become men and women yet. They're still slaves. And the very fact that they follow people like Barack Hussein Obama 
and you can't show them the truth. That's how they became slaves in the first place. The witch doctors in Africa sold them to the white man and they refuse to acknowledge it to this very day. Black people still tell that Kunti Kinti lie that white people came and threw a net on them and caught them one by one in the jungle and put 5,000 of them on a ship at one time. It didn't happen that way. It's a lie, but black people fail to recognize it because a slave never looks at the truth. They sold the Jesse Jacksons, the Al Sharptons, the Barack Hussein Obamas sold black babies into slavery to white slave traders off the west coast of Africa, but to this very day, black people won't acknowledge it. To this very day, black people will not realize they've not built anything. All of their cities are ghettos, filled with crime, laden with darkness and filth when it doesn't have to be that way. Black people could be cleaner, safer, more loyal, more integral. They can be. They don't want to be. They don't want to be. They don't want to be. They enjoy being dependent. They enjoy the lies of the Democratic Party that keeps them dependent. They enjoy hearing somebody say, we'll build a house for you. You don't have to build your own. We'll build a school for you. You don't have to build your own. It's in their hearts. It's a curse. Now, I spoke some time ago about the curse being removed. The curse of Ham, Canaan. I know y'all don't like it. The black people don't like it, but it's in the Bible. Then throw all the Bible away there. You can't just tear out Genesis chapter 9, verse 25. Throw all the Bible out. And for you Israelites out there running around talking about the black man is the Jew, stop that lie. Because it's not true. The black man is not the Jew. The Jew is the Jew. The Jew is the Jew and the black man is the black man. We don't have to steal or pretend to be Jews in order to be blessed of God. God is our father. The Lord God Almighty. We don't have to be Muslims. We don't have to turn to Islam and call all white people devils in order to have the favor of God. God is our father and it needs to be told and it needs to be told now. All these groups growing up, white people are the devils and the Jews, the real Jews are the black people. All this confusion all this prosperity, talking in tongues, blasphemy, Pentecostal, Baptist, Methodist foolishness. Al Sharpton is not a man, he's a slave. Jesse Jackson is not a man, he's a slave. T.D. Jakes is not a man, she's a slave. Cornell West is not a man, he's a slave. And then you have people like Maya Angelou and Toni Morrison say to you that the first black president was William Jefferson Clinton, even though he's a white man. The slave mentality in the uh, dreadlock wearing Toni Morrison and the dreadlock wearing Maya Angelou wearing their dreadlocks, yet calling the white Bill Clinton a black, black president. Slave mentality. The slave. And needs to stop. And you need to hear the truth. Now you let another slave, Barack Obama, vote. You voted for him, sold your soul to the devil for him. Well, I'm here to deliver the truth. First of all, black people need to repent and need to stand up in mass and say, thank God for the white America. Thank God that he's allowed you even in slavery. You're brought here. And you got a great chance to live in the greatest nation on the planet. You need to start there and you better not call me an Uncle Tom or an Uncle Ruckus or a porch monkey because I'm telling you the truth. You're never going to get anywhere until you start praising God for being here in America. Or otherwise, we'll send you down to Haiti or send you over there to Zimbabwe that used to be Rhodesia, which used to be a great nation, or send you over there to South Africa or to Rwanda, or Uganda with Idi Amin, or Monrovia with Sergeant Master Sergeant Doe. Stop this foolishness, black people killing one another. You need to thank God, and you need to open your minds to the truth. And I'm going to tell it. 